I wanted to quick show you um, an easy way to automate scheduling your meetings, um, new client meetings, potential client meetings, meetings with clients that you have on a weekly basis, um, things like that, whatever you need to do. Um, I use Calendly. Um, there is pricing for it. The way I use it, it actually is free. Um, you can sign up with your Gmail account. So um, I just sign in with my account, my Google account, and it brings me to my dashboard. Um, so this is what my dashboard looks like. Um, the way I keep my Calendly free is I only use one meeting time. So I don't enable 15 minutes or 60 minutes. Um, I set it to just be meeting um, and I'll show you how you can do that so you have event type settings. Um, when you set this up it's 15 minutes and then it said 30 here and 60 minutes. What I did is I deactivated the 15 and the 60 and I only activated this and then I changed it to just say meeting. My meetings are 45 minutes long because that's typically what works for my scheduling with my current clients or potential clients. Um, and then you can just go in there and click on there. You can change the event name to whatever you'd want it to be, however long you'd want it to be, and then the description. If you have instructions for your meetings or phone calls or things like that, you can put that in here. Um, you get your own event link, which is kind of cool. Um, you can customize it with color, but then you can also set your own schedule. So I set certain office hours where I'm going to be available to speak to people. Um, and then that way I know that Tuesdays and Thursdays are my open available days for meetings. Um, you can set up how far in the future you want to be allowed to set meetings. So um, I typically do about three weeks so I know what's coming up. And then I do custom questions. So I ask what the meeting is in regards to, um, how to contact that person, and then how they heard about me. Um, and then I make them all required. So when they do sign up for this, it gives them a prompt to fill out those, those questions. Um, and then that is about it. I can set up um, uh, email confirmation. So it gives them a confirmation when they set it up. It gives them an email confirmation when and if they need to cancel. And then I also personalized a reminder meeting um, email for them so that they remember that it's coming up. That way if something came up that was more important or they needed to attend to um, quicker in, in place of what we had set up for our meeting, they would be able to see the cancellation link and cancel at that time. So um, it's really super easy. Um, that's about it for getting your event set up. Um, I only do an event type, only one event type um, when I do it. So I only keep this meeting active um, for my event type. And then you can um, just copy the URL so that you know what your link is. You can put it in your email, you can put it in um, Facebook, anything like that. So this is what it looks like when someone goes to sign up on my meeting link with Calendly. They click on meeting um, and then it shows them open available start times. They can click on it. It says what's open for Tuesday, June 23rd. Again, once they click on what time they want, they hit confirm and then it goes into the questions for them. So first name, last name, email, what it's in regards to, all those questions that I wanted answered for the meetings that we have going on. Um, and then you can also see your dashboard at any given time. Um, so this is my dashboard and it shows me when I have meetings. The other thing that's really cool is you can connect your Google Calendar. So I actually have mine linked um, to my Google Calendar account so that way I know what's going on. Um, and what I need to um, make sure I don't overlap with. Um, so there you have it. That is how you use Calendly in a nutshell.
Um, feel free, if you guys have any questions, do reach out um, envisionadvertising.com or laurareich.com. Thanks.